Hello and welcome to LA Currents, I'm Anita Bennett. Los Angeles has a new Chief of Accountability and Oversight in the City Controller's Office. And joining us now to discuss his role as Accountability Chief is Sergio Perez. Thank you so much for being here, Sergio. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, so what are your responsibilities in this new role? Well, it's a, not only a new role for me, but it's a new role for the city. My focus is on ensuring that the work that the Controller's Office does in its audits and reviews are in line with the interests of the controller, Kenneth Mejia, and the people of Los Angeles. So I'm bringing my experience, both as an attorney and in the work that I've done in the past, to focus in our resources and time on the issues that matter. What are the most pressing issues in terms of auditing? Right now, we're really focusing in on public safety and homelessness. These were two issues that not only dominated the campaign for the controller's office, but which are top of mind for the people of Los Angeles. Um, it's no secret to anybody that lives in this city that there is a homelessness crisis that exists on our streets, in our shelters, and in other corners of the city. And so we're focusing on, in on ensuring that we understand the investments the city is making on this and help the people of Los Angeles understand exactly what those investments are buying us. It's the same in public safety. Uh, we've launched a public audit on the use of helicopters by the LAPD. We we're hoping to help people understand exactly how much money, time, resources go into our helicopter fleet and what those investments are getting us. And if you find that too much is being spent on helicopters for the police department, what happens after that? Well, the focus of the controller's office is to assess performance and to bring transparency into these spaces. Uh, we're likely to issue a public report and other kinds of, um, uh, of end products like data maps and things like that. Uh, to help people understand the use of helicopters. Al along with those, we'll issue recommendations mm -hmm. um, in case there are areas for improvement that we identify. Mm -hmm. And let's shift to the homelessness issue because everyone I talk to in the city, that is the most pressing issue. Um, when you do the audit, are you going to look at money? You said, you know, the money that's spent, is it money on housing? What, what is this, what are we talking about? We're looking at taking a look at that issue from every angle. We have publicly announced an audit of the uh, interim housing investments and, and choices that have been made. Interim housing is traditionally, um, traditionally referred to as shelter beds that can provide shelter for individuals that are unhoused. And our goal is to help people understand where that money is going, how much really does exist in the way of interim housing, uh, so that it can help um, drive decision makers and help the people of Los Angeles make choices on their own. Um, but we're not going to stop there. We're also going to take a look at the whole ecosystem. And so we are working on understanding permanent housing uh, because that is the ultimate end goal for folks who are unhoused, giving them the kind of supportive housing that they need um, to live um, full and safe lives. What, what's your ultimate goal while you're in this position, like long term and short term? Our ultimate goal as a team, and this is something that Controller Mejia emphasizes every day, is on improving the lives of, of Los Angeles residents. Um, and that does mean bringing more transparency and boosting more accountability. Uh, it also means just helping decision makers understand the issues so that their decisions, whether they're legislative or otherwise, are predicated on facts, not assumptions. Um, what we've learned is that there's a lot missing in the terms of data, whether it's homelessness um, or public safety. And so we're also working to fill in those data vacuums so that it's reliable, independent, trustworthy information that's guiding our decision making. Mm -hmm. What are some of the other areas that you'll be conducting reviews on? Oh, we have a live review of the Los Angeles Animal Services Agency because that is also an issue uh, that um, Controller Mejia ran on and that folks are very interested in. Um, we are assessing that agency from top to bottom, not only taking a look at the treatment of animals within the care of the Los Angeles Animal Services Agency, but also taking a look at the way that its human resources are being managed from volunteers and civil servants on up. Mm -hmm. And when you say that, um, you know, you're going to look at the money that's spent on the animals, could there be 
perhaps a recommendation that this department needs more funding? That's exactly right. Often what we find is that agencies aren't failing for lack of trying, um, or that our city processes may be underinvested in. And that's one thing that, um, that Controller Mejia and the team are really focused on, which is ensuring people understand not only these particular agencies, but the city budget as a whole, uh, so that decisions can be made about whether those funds can be better allocated and better spent. Um, does, I know you haven't been in the office a long time, but um, from what you've heard, do departments ever come to the controller's office and say, hey, audit us, or is that unheard of? No, it, it, there are, I think, the, the executive leaders of the city who understand that audit isn't a dirty word, mm -hmm. and that it's very, very helpful to have a resource like the controller's mm -hmm. office in-house, who can come in, provide an independent assessment, and provide um, best practices based advice and recommendations, they see the value in that. Um, that hasn't happened in the work that I do over the last three months, but I know that it has happened in the past. In the past, okay. The controller's job can be very difficult. Um, you know, in times of financial crisis or whatever, are you are you prepared for that? I, I am, and what's really, really helpful is the whole team is prepared for that. As I mentioned, we've got a deep bench here of subject matter experts. I'll give you an example. I mentioned Public Safety Director Dinah Manning. She came to us from the Federal Public Defenders. Um, so she's got such a keen understanding of our public safety ecosystem. Ashley Bennett, our Director of uh, Homelessness, she used to work for um, LASA, which is this massive um, multi-jurisdictional agency that's focused on homelessness. And, uh, and as, a, as a child and youth, she herself was unhoused and housing insecure. And so when you've got a deep bench like that, um, or when you confront something that you don't know quite how to handle, which happens fairly frequently, you can rely on the rest of the team to really come together and, uh, and find the best approach. And that's what's happening on a day-to-day -day basis. That is good to hear. When you conduct an audit of a city department, um, what does that entail? How long does it take? Oh, it can take a, a long time. Uh, the great, great um, thing about the controller's office is it has an audit division staffed with audit professionals, accountants, investigators. It entails initially understanding the questions you're seeking to answer, right? An audit is really about establishing independently, concretely, and objectively whether systems are working the way they should. So you have to first isolate the target of the audit. What system do you care about? and isolate the questions that, that you ask. Um, it's a real pleasure working with somebody like Controller Mejia because he's a certified public accountant himself. And that means he brings a, a fine understanding of how this work should be done and how we can do it efficiently. Uh, he's very hands-on and he's involved in most of the audits that we're carrying out now in a, in a serious and, and constructive way. Um, an audit, depending on the system that it's taking a look at and the questions that it's seeking to answer, can last anywhere from six months to two, three years. Um, but we're looking to move very quickly on these. Does it depend on the size of the department? It depends on the size of the department and on how cooperative those individuals are. It also depends on our resources. Um, the controller's office, as I've mentioned, is in charge of a, a citywide function. Um, and the audit division that I referenced um, is not very big. Um, there are about six to seven dedicated auditors in that division, and the fraud, waste, and abuse unit that we were, excuse me, discussing earlier is about four people strong. So when you think about how big city government is, how much money is moving through it, how much work is getting done on an everyday ba uh, basis, you've got to be really intentional about the audits that you launch. Well, this has certainly been a fascinating conversation. I learned a lot. Thank you so much. Yeah, Sergio Perez, you are in the controller's office. You are the chief of accountability and oversight. That is going to do it for this edition of LA Currents. I'm Anita Bennett. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.